Hey guys, Sepco Soccer Player. Today we're going to be talking about how to use muriatic acid to get rid of aluminum transfer from a piston to the inside of your nickel plated cylinder or a Nikosil cylinder. So this bike here I picked up from an auction. It was seized. Um, someone kicked it before I got it, picked it up, and it freed it up so it made it easier to take apart. But there's a bunch of aluminum transfer in there from overheating. And I'll get into a little bit of that on this bike build in another video. But right today I just want to show you guys how you can use muriatic acid to get rid of that transfer. And hopefully there's no gouges in your cylinder and you can continue to use that cylinder after you clean it up. So let's get started. All right, so the plan here, guys, is to use some muriatic acid. I got a little bit poured into a cup right there. I'm going to use a Q-tip and put it on there real lightly and then use a red scuff pad to um, you know, try to work it off. Make sure you use gloves with this. Be prepared. Have a pail of water or something in case you get any on your hands or skin. And uh, hopefully we can get it. I don't know. This, this one's pretty rough. I'm probably just going to get a new cylinder. But I'm just curious to see if we can save it. Let's try it. You don't want to get it on this aluminum part because it will eat that up too. We're just trying to get it onto the uh, the nickel plated cylinder. Try to get you in close so you can see. You can see it fizzing and bubbling up. It's eating up that aluminum. Oh yeah, it's working good. So up top here, it's pretty bad. But you can see it's working on it. Yeah, we're still getting there. And you got to get all the aluminum transfer off to see what kind of, if you have any deep scratches or gouges in your, in your cylinder. Look at that. All right, guys, so the cylinder came out pretty good. pretty smooth the um, there is something that's concerning though let me show you look at that exhaust bridge right there you see that white sec like little parts at the top of the bridge that is where the, the plating is missing it's almost like it got chipped away that's too narrow right there for me to really be happy with and trust and all the marks above that you can't feel them but uh, I don't like that at the top of the exhaust bridge. I'm just going to order a new cylinder. All right, guys, so that's all there is to it. Muriatic acid works. Remember to wear your gloves. Safety first. Uh, put some goggles on in case so you don't splash anything. Just a little bit at a time, and you can actually just watch it fizzing in there. Take your time. It'll keep coming off on your Q-tip. Keep doing it. It comes off clean. Don't get it on any of the aluminum or, uh, outside of the plating of the cylinder so you don't eat away your cylinder as well. And make sure when you're done, you rinse it and clean it up really good. I'm going to go ahead and order a new cylinder. It got all the aluminum off, but the cylinder has too much damage to, uh, to really put it back together. So uh, I'm going to get some new ones, and you'll see all that in a further video. So, guys, do me a favor. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, this is Tepco Soccer Bear.